You're purring. You're purring so soft. Oh no, we lost her. Do you wanna hang out? Watch a movie together? Good morning, good morning to a very sleepy morning, sleepy girl, sleepy time vlog. Oh, look at my hair. I put on makeup for you. Do you like it? Ta da! <sighs> I'm very tired. I have a coffee and I'm still wearing my snood. I may have done my makeup, but I wasn't ready to take off my snood yet. I need it for emotional and physical comfort and support <laughs> uh, it is thursday the 29th of february and there are five days left on my kickstarter campaign which is not a lot of time at all and it's going pretty well and i noticed that lately i've been watching a lot of vlog content and i realized that i really really miss filming and sharing things with you like this cozy way because I've been doing a lot of promotion for the Kickstarter and it's been great it's been a lot of fun and I've been meeting a lot of new people and it's I don't know it's it's really great really but when you're filming short form content you can't really get a whole sentence out basically do you know what I mean it's hard to have it's weird to, to call it a conversation I guess I should call it a monologue but it's hard to actually take a breath and think a little bit you have to be like really focused like every second has to count you can't really relax that well so i thought i'd film a little bit again i have like a whole collection of material from december that i've been meaning to put into a, a christmas vlog because there's so there's the cutest content on there and i know there is because i filmed motto playing with the christmas tree under the christmas tree but like Tomorrow is March and it feels too late to put up a Christmas vlog. What do you think? Should I just do it? Anyway, so I thought maybe I could get back into it, but make it easier than before. And maybe have a little less um, expectations of myself and of the kind of content that I have to shoot. It all has to be perfect all the time, but maybe it doesn't have to be perfect all the time, maybe? I hope. So I thought I'd just sit down and chat with you guys and maybe film a little bit of the next day and then just send it to you. Oh, and the reason that uh, I haven't uploaded the December content is because the rest of December and all of January we were in roof hell. Like we had to get a new roof because the roof had rotted and the roof that I put on was shit and the workers disappeared after a day they didn't finish it and there were storms and there were leaks and there was damage and then they came back and they fixed it and it was worse and then they came back and then they fixed it and it was worse and then finally by the end of january it was done and we have solar panels now and now we do have another leak in a place that we never had leaks before these roofing guys came over but we're just dealing with it and meanwhile we're renovating the bedrooms I'll do a little walk over there and I can show you later. And um, that brings us all the way up to February this month. And this month I've been working my butt off on the Kickstarter campaign. I had put it off for so long because I was just so scared that I'm always talking about how I'm a small creator. And one of the things that has given me the most success actually is um, my Kickstarter projects because they've allowed me to make products and collections that I couldn't make on my own because I don't have the funds for it because it's just really expensive to manufacture products and I've done that really successfully twice now and I thought what if the third time I try it turns out that it was all a fluke and I, actually I suck and actually nobody wants my stuff and that made me really scared <laughs> but I didn't want to face that fact so I just kept putting it off and doing other things but then in February I got my groove and I put it all online and I've been promoting all the time and it's going really, really well. Um, and I had a business realization yesterday and another one today. 
actually two days ago because in the middle of all of this i got a wholesale order which i get sometimes now which is amazing um but i spent all of monday night and tuesday working on packing the wholesale order and making the bookmarks for it and if you don't know i have chronic pain and fatigue and i spent from 11 to 6 at night just straight no breaks working on it and i was in so much pain i was in more pain than when i'd been uh, working on painting the living room here so i painted and i vacuumed and i cleaned and i did all this stuff and i felt better after that than i did after a whole day of bent over just cutting bookmarks i was like i can't do this anymore so i'm calling it growing paints now because in a way this means that sometimes i get an order that's so big that i can't push it all out in one day and in the past i would have sat back more i would have been more like oh okay well i can i can just spread it out over a few days and then i won't feel as bad but the thing is i am trying to grow a business i am trying to hopefully one day be able to make a living off of this at least some like a bit so i do have to make money so if i actually spent three days doing that work not only would i not be making minimum wage i would be making no profit on the products i sell i would be making a third of minimum i would be making less than a third of minimum wage so i'm going to try to outsource some of my bookmarks which is super scary because it's one of my top seller and i'm really proud of how i make them by hand but i just can't physically do it anymore so i'm gonna try uh, a few sample packs and then the ones that look the most like my work that's the ones i'm gonna try to do and incidentally i also found out today that doing the same thing for my stickers is absolutely womp my card was full so i had to start over <laughs> <laughs> I hope it saved the last bit. Oh, wait, let me check. Okay, it did good. <laughs> what was I talking about? Oh yeah. So after the, let's call it an ordeal, making all those bookmarks and Wednesday spending all day recovering, I realized I can't keep doing this. I can't make 100 bookmarks a day and, and still be functional the day after. And I think before now, I never really valued my own labor. I sort of saw it as something that was free like i know i have to pay myself a wage that that's the goal and i do a, a bit um but i still considered myself like like i'm already here so i'm free right but i'm not i i deserve to get paid for my time i'm a very exploitative boss to me <laughs> and then today i realized that what if i also want to um like have my stickers made by, by sticker app or sticker mule and it turns out that's not possible because there is no way in hell that i could order a high enough amount that i can be able to sell them and not uh be returning a loss so yeah i'll be making continue making those myself we already know that i'm stellar at it if you saw seen my old videos where i <laughs> try to learn how to make stickers but i'm really happy with the quality that i have now i have really high quality vinyl so it's fine but it would have been cool if i could have just ordered like a stack of like a bunch of different stickers uh but yeah it's not feasible for me to order them and not um run a loss and you know i like food and i want to be able to do this for a while so i need to make a little bit of money because i realized that right now i was selling my stickers wholesale at a lower price than i paid for them basically and I also realized that if, if I want to keep doing this, I want to expand my catalog, I want to make new products, I want to create more art. And I've been really craving the creation process lately because I've been uh, on the promo tour so much. I can't do that if I spend so much time and energy on something that in the end doesn't really pay the bills. So I have to be smarter about it. So this feels all right. Like, the right time to make such an investment which is really scary because i've never done that before invest in something myself not knowing well i have very early days and that was not a great success but yeah we're just we're gonna we're, we're taking the risk i want to make more products i want to learn how to make more products i want to make sun catchers this year i want to make keychains and in order to do that i have to make it possible for me to do that because i have to 
create that time for myself to be able to create because that is the number one main task of an art business creating things and i need to have create that space for myself in order to be able to do that so yeah and i'm kind of excited to try and do that i've had so many ideas the past month and i haven't been able to create all of them and i've just been in the past as well i've just sort of been running from moment to moment trying to catch up with the various aspects of my business so like client work or uh, creating products or designing products etc and i always felt that on the designing new things side i've been falling behind i feel like i want to hone my artistic skills better and my creativity more um, than i currently do and the only way for me to do that is if i if i spend less time yeah just elsewhere that makes sense right and on the note, I'm going to finish my coffee and my battery is dead and I am also dead. I'm going to take a nap and then we're going to get started on making some freebies for the Kickstarter and designing the thank you cards. Yay! Fun! Mwah. Okay, I said I promised to show you the offices that we're working on right now, right? So are you both ready to be shocked and appalled and horrified? You ready? This is the current state of our offices. <laughs> Dean did all of this work. The only thing I did was show up to kick in the, the wall, literally. Give me a minute. Trying not to break my glasses. See, I'm walking over. So, as you can see, these are two rooms. It's so hard to get everything like in the shop because it's it's pretty big. Um, but this is my office, and then this is the dividing wall between our offices. And it was a really bad wall; it was shoddily built, and it had like this plastic on it. So we tore it down, and now we're building new. We're also going to be building new doors and door frames, and we just decided that we're going to probably put a new window in because there used to be windows above the door there. You see that? But we're gonna be building like a, a loft here, like a, a, a very small loft closet type thing. And then over there, and then where I walked in, that's where Dean's door is going to be. And we just decided that we're gonna put like a little window above or beside the door. And with maybe some like, um, um, uh, what's the word? You know, colored glass, mosaics? No, not mosaics, that's not the word. Glas en lood. Help, help my Dutch girl is out. So that's my door and that's where his door will be. And then this is it's a dividing wall between us. Cool, right? Okay. And when it's done, it's on all gonna look just as good as our bedroom does. Isn't it beautiful? Hey baby. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for showing everyone your butt, Kitty.
still. Bye! This is gonna be the first freebie for my Kickstarter backers. It's gonna be just a sticker that they get, a small one. I'm gonna make another one with a star. I get some little, tiny little stickers. I don't know. that this was not my idea. She wanted to go out there and go all the way to the back where she hid while I took a nap. This was her choice. <laughs> that clock doesn't do anything. That stopped. <sighs> Don't go in the floor. No. Hey, you're back. Hi. Come. <laughs> Why? Is the weather so nice and the sun shining when I have to spend the whole day inside cutting bookmarks? But now that I have to go and deliver a package and I don't have a car, it's raining all day. Hot cuisine. Don't forget, friends. Drizzle. Drizzle isn't so bad. Yes. into the far reaches of space you're purring you're purring so soft today it was a typical sleepy girl day i feel i didn't get anything done i finished packing an order that i already started and i designed almost one complete free mini sticker which I feel like I should have been able to do multiple in one day, but on sleepy days. Things don't go so fast. And I filmed this with you. That's good. I still have to post some stuff to social media. And then I think, I think I wanna watch a movie. Do you wanna hang out, watch a movie together?
Dune is on TV. We're gonna watch Dune. Well, I think I should have just started watching Dune because I just spent the last 30 minutes going through all of Netflix and I think I've seen literally every movie on Netflix that I have any interest in seeing. Team <laughs> um, is on his way, he's almost home. Moto is asleep on me, but I have to kick her off. enjoyed hanging out with me today working a little bit and doing a little bit of nothing and watching the first 10 minutes of a movie and the first 10 minutes of another movie and the first 10 minutes of another movie <laughs> and uh, i'll see you again soon bye i love you moto also loves you say bye bye moto <laughs>